<laughs> my lips are still so f- Hold on, I need to put some more chapstick on. Do you, buddy. God damn. And honestly, Cole, this is um, this is a good brand for you. Yeah, what's up? It's <laughs> Raging Bitch Chapstick. <laughs> bitch stick chapstick, actually. <laughs> You know, I take a month off and the hits, they just keep on coming, don't they? We had a, we've had a beer and now we've got a chapstick. Hello, friends. Thank you for joining me today. And I'm glad you did because I've got something pretty great for you. And that is the first vidcast of 2022. Here we are. Zach's already drinking. Don't worry about it. Mind your business. <laughs> Cole's back. Cole's um, drinking. What else is new? Yeah. yeah. It's 2022. It whole, All it means your, is that uh, the your, cosmic fucking odometer has gone again, and we're going to continue living in the hellish dystopia that is our life. Yeah. We haven't suddenly gone past the, the, the all of it, you know? New year, you new me. Shut the fuck up. No. <laughs> new year. Yeah. New year, same old me. Well, you guys you guys saw my New Year's post. It's uh, New Year, stay the fuck out of my way or I'm done with you. <laughs> <laughs> new year, new consequences. Fuck off. I like that. <laughs> new year, new consequences. So remember to do all the good YouTube things. Like, comment, survive. Or I'll be under your bed. <laughs> Like, comment, survive if we let you. I mean, that's mm. a, that's a Game Grumps joke. I gotta give credit where credit's due, but it's too good not mm. to use. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, well, yeah, we're back for the new year. Like I said, Cole is back. Um, took a, took an episode off, and now he has returned to us, the prodigal son. Uh, a shame he did take that episode off, too, because it was a very Italian episode. Yeah, yeah I'm really it sorry really about was. that. <laughs> It was, uh, it I, really I, was, yeah. I appreciate you guys being, uh, <clears throat> understanding on that one. Like, I hadn't seen this cat in well over four years at this point. Oh, don't worry, Cole. We're, we're not over it just yet. Your uppins will come. Oh, next, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> next, I mean, family, next family reunion, I'm gonna literally be under your bed. <laughs> Feel free. We're going to talk to St. Joyce, get an extra key. Yeah. <laughs> I think I need a key to break into that fucking place. No, I don't think, but I think you have more, I think you have more respect for St. Joyce. You and think the, you the need a key to get than... into any of those places? Y'all saw how those cabins were built. That's true. <laughs> the lady That's literally true. walked in during like the big fucking like, hey, we're all family and like loving on each other. And she was like, I'm not a part of this, but I'm going to bitch. We could have killed her. Fuck we you, by the way, if you're watching this. I know you're not, but fuck you if you are. Honestly, think about it, too, because how hard would it be? You just, this is fucked up. You take her after after you do the deed. I, I had all... This was a mistake. <laughs> um, anyway, Yo, speak, it's a new speaking of which, new sorry, sorry, Sam. I don't think this actually goes with your your and mine conversation yesterday. Imagine having that house as like our permanent residence slash the production place. The, bi- the oh giant my God. one. I the big yeah, one. just like a, like convert the big one into a studio. And yeah, like use that as like the place where we do like our videos and recording and stuff. Like that. that one, that one would be cool, but I would prefer the one. I don't think you guys got to see it. The one that's at the very top of the mountain. I didn't see that. No, I don't think we did. The think only we, reason I would biggest... want that one is just because like the view up there is like oh I can't even imagine. otherworldly. Can we? Uh, can you take us up there? Uh, <clears throat> Fuck yeah. I don't know why we didn't go up there this year. I think there was like another family renting Fuck it. Fuck them. Yeah. I we think, had well, the so AK. When we, <laughs> when we come back uh, this year, I want to, um, <laughs> I want to, my New Year's resolution is just ignore any time of sex and something off the wall <laughs> involving killing people. <laughs> Yeah, that's, my, my that's, 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 that's going to fail faster than ever. Into it. <laughs> that's going to fail faster than ninety percent of people's gym resolutions. Yeah, <laughs> congratulations, your resolution is setting you up for failure. It's already started, and I already fucking hate it. By the way, it's 
the gym I resolution. I the gym gone, resolution people, I go gone, the fuck home. You're not going to be here in like another two weeks. I haven't got to. I'm not going to the gym, uh, like my actual gym gym, for a fucking month. I'm waiting until February mm. before I hit up my uh, the gym I go to. It's probably smart. It's probably smart. Well, yeah, because just, it's like I just I want to do my thing. And then on top of all the resolutioners, you're going to have all the resolutioners who got to put their shit on fucking Instagram. Yep. Yep. So that's fun. Take I, saw a dude, I saw a dude in the gym with a tripod the other day. With a tripod? That doesn't surprise me at all. A tripod. Like recording his workout? Like, what was Re- he doing? Recording his climb. Like, like, had like a tripod, like, set up, like, literally looked at the route, set the tripod up, made sure, like, the route was, like, set on it, went. I was like, I want to be angry at you. That's dedication. That, you know, see, I, my, my immediate thought <laughs> At least was, you're professional about es- it. Especially when you said the climb and all that, was like, okay, this might be sort of like how I take my, I take my camera with me to the range when I go. I'm not really doing it for the vanity aspect. I'm doing it as sort of like when you review To, like, a, watch it back. Yeah, when you review, review a football yeah. technique. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, so things like that. So like that I can get, but I'm talking about the fucking, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a single fucking set of like five reps and then I'm gonna spend 14 minutes trying to get the perfect fucking angle for a pump I don't have in the fucking, uh, in the mirror, picking up my mirror space because I'm dressed like fucking Ted Kaczynski just trying to get a workout. (laughs) (laughs) So what, what is, what's been anything new happening in this year, 2022? Anything new happen? Anything exciting? Anything exciting? I'm getting a lot more accounts at work. Other than that, no, no not really. Oh! <clears throat> oh wow! Oh, it's the second one. Oh. Oh. This is not oh. the finalized cover, um, but this is. So I've decided that I'm going to give all the preview copies a unique cover as well, just to make them a little more exclusive. But yeah, nice. What work is uh. So I'm just waiting on the cover, the finalized cover art, and it's set to go. Nice man, that's awesome. You're still going with a uh, with a uh, Bill for the cover. Yeah, Bandito Bill. Bill. Bill is uh, Bill's doing the cover art. This was just one that the the photographer. Uh, shout out to my boy Eric Lanes. Um, he did this one himself. He just did a quick edit because uh, he liked how it looked, and so I figured on top of giving him credit for the photo, I'd also use his stuff for the uh, for the preview copy. Yeah. That was awesome, man. That's badass. I did. I had no idea you had those. Uh, I knew you were talking about the 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 preview copy covers, but I didn't know that you had like the preview these, copies. Just these, yet. Ca- these came in yesterday. Ah, oh, hell yeah! Nice. We got an Oculus, so I've been doing that. That's been fun. Uh, so you can become one in the metaverse. Yeah. Go welcome, <clears throat> see your welcome to the metaverse. Yeah, that's been fun. Um, not a not a ton, honestly. Just a lot of just keeping up with work and trying not to be burnt out by that. Uh, Dude, I actually, I, I fucking feel like this, this past week has easily been the busiest that I've ever been in yeah. this current job. And it's like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> We're at, <clears throat> working? Actually? That sucks. Yeah, I did, well, I, we did, well it Chanel also doesn't I, help that, <clears throat> oh, god, Chanel and I did go to uh, Asheville for yeah, our anniversary. anniversary slash New Year's Eve, so cheers yeah, to that, 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 that looked like a fun trip. <clears throat> yeah, dude, it was like a blast. I had no idea that we were staying the entire weekend. Like, we got to like my favorite brewery on Friday, and I'm like in my head, I'm like, okay, so we have to hit this place tomorrow morning, then this place, then this place. We have to go eat here, and then come from there, go to this brewery, and then from there we can get a couple small bites, kind of like soak some of that up, and then we can go to another place. It's like. What time are you trying to leave tomorrow? And she's like, tomorrow? I was like, are we, sta- yeah. are, are we staying the entire fucking weekend? She's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, because then you, we got a video shortly after that. Of <sighs> you. It was almost like, it was almost like an upbeat, like proof of life video is what it looked like. Because it was all dark <laughs> body. <laughs> and you had, you had like the cup in your hand and you were like slightly slumped over, but you were happy. Yeah. 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 It was, it was like if the Taliban captured you and showed you the video, but you were at a cookout. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so in a barbecue, it's like we have the we have the, they found like a really great potato salad recipe the Taliban did. <laughs> like it's got raisins. Bring your hipster. He's fine for now. <laughs> Guys, hear me out. Hear me out. I know they've done some heinous shit. But this potato salad. It's not that bad. It's, good. it's not it's that bad. Good. It's pretty good. <laughs> I gotta God. say. Ben Salman's oh. fucking chefing it up. I'm really a big fan. Well, I must be making a really big, like, lamb kebab or something. That's a big knife they're sharpening. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they need the saw for, but, I mean... <laughs> yeah. Feels excessive, but, I mean... <laughs> my birthday happened. Happy um, birthday! I'm 30 now. He's 30. That's something. Ew, Uh he's old. (laughs) Both of y'all fuckers forgot. Yep. I'm on Facebook. I totally did. I'm not. (laughs) Yeah. I saw saw your your 30 post on Instagram. I was like, oh, yeah. I saw (laughs) that. It was actually really funny. Oh, shit. Let me hop on this. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Let me piggyback on this motherfucker. Yeah, I, I saw like, that, and I was like, let me send him a text. At least yeah, 4 we're p.m. rolled around, and I was just like, there's a few people that haven't gotten the memo. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna help him out a little bit. <laughs> and and I got no one, including, including, <laughs> including yours. I got like five texts after the fact, after I posted that. <laughs> <Instagram. laughs> yeah, I saw that, and I was like, Oh, that's right. I should send him a message. <laughs> I should say something. It was, it, was, it, was, it was honestly funny. I think Chels was more offended for me than, <laughs> than I was. Dude, I'm so, I'm so fucking bad. I mean, remember when I sent to Cole? I was out for my morning walk and I was like, I don't know if Facebook's fucking with me or not, but if it's not, happy birthday. <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave, the, I think I've decided I'm gonna leave the glasses off. Leave the glasses off. off. I, it'll, it'll, I, it'll I, look I good. Little, I got a little... Unibrow situation going on, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna own it. Yeah, man. You know, own it. Just owning it. Um, Sam is patient zero for the unibrow variant. <laughs> the unibrow variant. Uh, <laughs> Which letter stuff. of the alphabet is that one? Uh, it's Sam. I'm getting a new tattoo. Oh yeah. Nice. What are you getting? I'm getting uh, uh, Anduril, like uh, the sword of a Sildor that was like broken. I'm getting that on my thigh, and I'm excited about it. Nerd. Yep. <laughs> Real excited um, about it. I'm getting a back piece of Gilbert Godfrey as Saint Michael the Archangel. <laughs> All right. I love it. Honestly. <laughs> I'll, I, I won't pay for a back piece, but I'll fully pay for that. <laughs> if you decide to get that tattoo, I won't pay for a back piece. I don't have that kind of money. I don't have back piece money. I like got a, like, like a like a like a like I an got, upper shoulder. I got like an upper shoulder. I got a like like a calf. Got what a if calf I did money. that as like the beginning? <laughs> what if I did that as like the beginning piece of a sleeve on like my forearm? <laughs> I will fully pay for that. Remember, remember when I uh, when I told you guys that if you paid for it, I would get Gary the Gator from Pokemon tattooed. Mm-hmm. I'm not funding that because it would just be a fucking a monument to sin of when you gave into Cole's fucking demands. <laughs> Of being a punk you, bitch. You weren't when it first when it first <laughs> when it first came up. You were thinking about it. Thought yeah, about it. I've grown. It's been over a year since that happened. Cole, if you pay for it, I'll still do it. All right. Now, Zach, if you pay, I'll do. I'll get. I'll get Cyndaquil with a cigarette if you pay for it. <laughs> now, see. We should all. Get, I want to get. <laughs> I want to get a, a tattoo of Jeremy after he's been punched. <laughs> I told I'm gonna put a clip of what that is in here because I don't think anybody probably understands. Uh, it's almost funnier if you don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. We still have we still have to figure out like the design for our boys uh tattoo. Like our friend tattoo. Yeah, the only thing that I think that we've really, it, and Zach really hasn't commented on this particular one so much, but the one that me and Cole both kind of liked was the idea of doing like a, like a can with like a tab up and it says, saying, it says crispy pop around it or yeah. on it. I actually like, I, I, you may have mentioned that before. I don't remember it, but I like that idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A little crispy pop. That could be something. It's a lot better than mine. 
What's yours? I don't know if I can say it. Oh no. Say it, say it, well, and we'll say see it, we and then I will cut it. I'm trying to think bad. of some hated shit. I didn't actually uh, have okay. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Here's what I'll do. I'll do a, I'll do a jump cut right now, and then you just start saying something, and then I'll I'll do a little thing. So. <laughs> you were all you were all gung ho about like the troubles just five minutes ago, but now, now on record, <laughs> tight lip. Got exactly, it. it's on record. I'm a public image to hold now. Okay. <laughs> he's an author now, damn it. He's a. <laughs> I'm an author he's that. About to be, I'm, he's I'm about an, to be a. I'm an author that people author. actually like take what I have Look, to say kind of seriously. I'm not going to say what now, you think about the people shouldn't. of Lithuania. I won't say that. Oh, that they're. <laughs> don't, even, don't even get me started on those fucking Estonians. <laughs> Actually, so we were out. We were out to uh, to lunch last time I was home. We had just gone shooting. And we brought uh, so it was myself, my dad, my grandpa, my brother, and my brother's friend Chris. And Chris, uh, I guess, is of a Lithuanian descent or something like that. And my grandfather had never met him before, so he was like, "Oh, well, what's, what's your last name?" He's like, "Oh, it's Lithuanian." He goes, "Lithuanian? That's that's near this area, right?" <laughs> I was eating my sandwich. I was like. It doesn't matter. They're not real people anyway. And my dad <laughs> almost fucking did a spit take. Oh no! <laughs> Behind exactly the Iron menace. Curtain, in front of the Iron Curtain, what's the matter? It's all curtains to me, baby. It's curtains all the way down. You want my legitimate opinion on a fucking geopolitical uh, thing that's going on in that region? Fuck Azerbaijan. Leave Armenia alone. They've been through enough. That's, I'd say that's fair, generally. I don't know enough about the situation. I just, I'd say Armenia You mean to tell me you don't enough. know what's going on in the nagorno karabakh conflict <laughs> between the Azerbaijan and Armenia? What did you just call me? <laughs> 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 Not, <laughs> I can tell you what I didn't call you, and that's uh, what, what Cole referred to my friend Jack as. <laughs> oh, oh. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn! That's a callback! That's, that's a callback. I was like, what the fuck? Who the fuck is Jack? Why do I care if I offend- Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Good old Nickajack Lake, Tennessee. I just knew him as Jack. <laughs> Man, I just called him Jack. The man went to med school. I mean, come on. <laughs> He's a doctor. <laughs> He's a doctor. <laughs> we don't have doctors in Tennessee. <laughs> <coughs> oh, so, so Sam, you you were privy to this, but I uh, I sent Cole a video yesterday because for some reason it popped up in my uh, on my YouTube and I watched it. And I it just it brought such a oh. smile to my face because uh, it reminded me of how I feel like Cole and I would be in this situation, and it's a scene from the 1993 movie Gettysburg. Where, uh, where, 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 like, see Billy Yank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so he goes, I'll see you in hell, Billy Yank. He goes, I'll see you in hell, Johnny Reb. Well, I appreciate you talking to me. See you in hell, Billy Yank. See you in hell, Johnny Reb. It's like, <laughs> but it's like a really, like, kind of, like, sweet moment, honestly. I was like, I could see that being me and Cole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't even know where to go with this. Uh... <laughs> What, you don't have segments oh, planned for I, this shit? I have, I have, I have a story. <laughs> I, uh, I almost segments. shot- I almost shot my computer yesterday. Wait, what? Like, legitimately? Like, like with a legit, bullet? Like, with- like, legitimately with a bullet. With uh, a bullet. So, <laughs> my computer has an alarming tendency to just decide to say, fuck it, I'm gonna restart an update even though you told me not to. Uh-huh. And when it does this, if I had like a YouTube thing open that was paused or whatever, it will restart, load everything mm -hmm. back up, and then autoplay whatever the fuck I had playing. I see where this is going, and I'm really so, happy about it. <laughs> so it does this at one o'clock in the morning. Mm hmm. And I had I forget what fucking video I had, but it had a it, the main thing was a oh dude, you didn't forget a dude yeah. speaking angrily, probably talking about political stuff. And how Zach being angry about political stuff? Never. 
Well, I wasn't angry. The guy on the video was. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one o'clock, and all Poor. of a sudden, there's a light on in my room because it turned on the monitor and all that when it restarted. And I hear someone speaking very angrily, very loudly. I so don't naturally, know why we let all of them in. So now. <laughs> Talking about George W's weather machine. <laughs> so my the Jews thing, my favorite thing have about a space laser. My favorite thing about the weather machine joke is that he picks a different politician every single time. <laughs> yeah. I think last time we did it was Al Gore's weather machine. This time it's George W. No, Al Who's, Gore made the internet. Who was That's the right. uh, politician Zach? Who was the politician that me and you were joking about like the other day? It was a, it was Ross Bob Dole? Ross Perot, yeah. Ross Perot. But uh, oh, but yeah, so. It's one o'clock in the morning. I've only fallen asleep maybe two hours ago. So I'm in REM. And I ain't talking about the band. <laughs> From Athens, Georgia? Right, because that's not that's not how you say their name. I know. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> if we're, if we're speaking in terms of REM, I was not those happy people. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Fuck off. So like I said, there's suddenly a light on and I hear a very loud, very angry voice. So naturally, I hop up out of bed, grab my Glock, and rush out to put a fucking cap in someone's ass. And I did a quick scan, and I was like, where the fuck? You know, because I just, the sound was coming from over here. And, you know, my bedroom, just for the viewers, is behind that fucking pointing as hard, behind that wall over there. So I came around there, fucking <laughs> pistol drawn and ready to go. <laughs> And then I realized after a couple of moments of confusion that it was my computer. That's great. I hate when that happens. That happens sometimes because I will like get up and like, like tiredly stumble into the office to get like everything set up for work. And um, last night I was watching this video um, <clears throat> and I, I think it, I, I legit, Zach, Zach's watching angry, angry political videos. I'm watching toy. Actually, toy no, blogs. you know what it was? It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a political video. It was someone ranting about how stupid the story in cyberpunk is. Okay. That's fair. Fair. <laughs> fair. <laughs> um, shoot your computer out of spite just because. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, I agree um, with the guy. No, I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, but your computer is complacent I like, in it though. At some point, the browser shut shut down. I can't remember when. And I go and I set everything up. I open my browser, email everything at like that. I walk out of the um, the office to grab some some tea to get my day going. And I guess I had the volume on the computer up at like ninety because <laughs> I'm just sitting in the kitchen, just like. And then I hear somebody screaming about. I think Transformers or some app actually like. And then I'm like, what the? F I was awake. I tell you that much. Thank you, Ethan Page. Just gotta get you a fucking gun and you can be like me. I sure could, except I I, I would have shot my work computer and that would have been a, <laughs> Literally, I mean, I, my brain was just like, today's the day. Stateside kill. Let's do it. <laughs> State, <laughs> State Bravo 6 going kill. dark. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> it's like an achievement unlock stateside kill. Achievement unlock. <laughs> State well, side kill. Well, I found the title of the episode, <laughs> <laughs> and it was only and it's only fucking worth ten gamer score. What the fuck? Yeah, it's like one of those Bronze ones you get on like the shitty the Xbox Three Sixty ones that give mm. you a fucking achievement just for like hitting the start menu. Mm -hmm. Which is a worrying, a worrying thing if our game is doing one of those for a state side kill. That's a little. <laughs> Off. Welcome to 2022, where the rules don't matter and everything's made up. <laughs> Welcome to the purge. <laughs> oh, I saw a great thing. I should have sent it to you guys when, uh, when I saw it. It was a, it was like a Tumblr post or whatever. Where it was like, uh, how can you prove that we don't live in a simulation? And the the best response, which was put on it, was, uh, I know that we don't live in a simulation because computer programs have to run with some kind of logic and nothing in my life has this <laughs> and I was like there it is that's Fair. how we know we're not in the matrix I did I did watch a video um, this was a, a, a video of somebody explaining the idea of um, how if you believe in re reincarnation like you reincarnate on a timeline but like 
where in the timeline do you reincarnate in the past and the future, whatever. And what happens if you reincarnate in a time where your current self is still alive and hasn't reincarnated yet. Meaning that in theory, everyone that exists in the world is just a reincarnation of you and you just reincarnate until you become God. <laughs> well, if that's the case, I got some shit to work out because apparently I hate myself real bad. <laughs> I think that everybody does. <clears throat> um, you know what's I, I actually had an interesting sort of short story slash short film idea that I think you guys might dig. And it would basically the premise of it would be, you know, scientists uh you know, their, their loved one dies, Either some loved one or someone close to them dies, and so they spend the rest of their life working toward the reincarnation, bringing that person back to life. Um, so then it would cover like 30 years in a pretty abridged time, but it would show how they shun social life, they never really move on. You know, they they get, they basically give themselves up to this, uh, to this project. They finally get it to where it's possible. They're like, okay, now we need, you know, the person's remains and they're going to, uh, to bring them back, you know, it's finally time. And then someone goes, oh, did you forget? They were cremated. And then basically their mind would snap and that'd be the end of it. I like that, actually. That's, 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 that's a little terrifying, actually. I think that oh, was like a psychological, terrifying. like it's obviously like but a I psychological mindfuck in a way. Give me a call, Black Mirror. Are they that still would be a shit? good Black Mirror episode. Also, because I made a reference to it, uh, Matrix, the new Matrix movie sucks. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Here's here's what I'll say about and I, I, here's what I'll say about the new Matrix movie. It is not good, and it was not no. necessary, but I fucking loved it. Is it just, <laughs> is it just on the so, nose with the whole like? Uh, oh yeah, it's we so know, we it's, are it's, it's it's so aware to what is yeah, like it's, up its nose. It's so self aware to the Got point it. where it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Got it. But uh, but so what was really funny is my brother and I started watching it when I was home for Christmas, and it like starts. And we're like, this is really similar to the opening of the first movie, and then like the dialogue started like, the fuck did they just rehash the first? Part, or the first part of the first movie, line by line, they were like, "Oh, it's a it's a simulation." God, got it. <laughs> yeah. What I what I heard a lot was like the Wachowskis were like trying to make a point about like the like art from the artist like being basically co opted by the public mm -hmm. once the art is out there. And, and that's and, like, and that's why that's why that it was that there's a line about that in the movie where they're like, they're gonna make a sequel no matter what. You know, it's what the studio wants. I looked at my brother and went, turn this shit off. He went, Yep. Because <laughs> it was like I was like, oh, so you did want to do this and then they made you make it and so you just decided to make a big fuck you, but try and make a point about well, so that well, so the thing was, so it wasn't both of them. It was just one of them. I think it was just Lana. Yeah, okay. it was just it, the one. Yeah, so the other the other one didn't want to do it, and so she the one was like, "I'm just, I'm just gonna do it, I guess." And so, no. <laughs> and then like the whole you know the fucking spoiler alerts for a movie that I only saw twenty minutes about that I my brother told me about because he ended up watching. It. He was like, "Yeah, I should have just left it at the twenty minute mark." Mm. Yeah, like it turns out that Neo is just a video game designer, and the first three movies are a video game that he wrote. Like, what the fuck? And like, way to take an awesome concept, especially from the first movie, one of the most well, fucking so stellar pieces of modern day science fiction cinema. It's like, ah, oh, it's just a fucking video game that this John Wick lookalike fucking made. Well, so what I got out of it was that was not that the movies were his creation, but that they somehow got him back into the Matrix and to convince him that he wasn't the one and all this stuff, they made him a video game designer. And so his experiences were the video games that he created. Mm -hmm. And so okay. that's why that's why when he gets unplugged, when he goes back and he still knows all the people that he met from his time out of the Matrix. And I hate it. Yeah, yeah, not a fan. I hate it. Man, like it just felt weird too when they're like, I think it's, yeah, I think it's, I think that take is slightly better than the first three movies didn't happen. They were a video game person. It is only, slightly, only, it slightly, is slightly only better, slightly, but, I still but, like, but then uh, like you know, like there's toys of like Trinity fighting the fucking it is in, and the the I guess the CEO of the company had the bust of the just terrible CGI 
Smith when he was, got his face punched in the third movie. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> Which the CEO guy is Smith. It's just like it's this whole. But then also new Morpheus is also Smith. It doesn't make any fucking sense. I, it, and the fact that they didn't bring back. I mean, I'm glad they didn't bring, bring back Hugo Weaving because it would have just been an insult to the man. Yeah. But at the same time, how are you going to try to replace Hugo fucking Weaving? I mean, or Lawrence Fishburne. Too. Or Lawrence yeah. Fishburne. Oh yeah, th- th- I did not like the, I did not like the fucking New Morpheus at all. The actor, the actor that plays the New Morpheus is actually a very good actor. I'm not saying they, he's. The, I think he was. A, I like, think he's a good actor. I think he put on a good performance, but he ain't no Lawrence Fishburne. No. Mm-hmm. But, but I, I really I, haven't. Well, well, I really haven't like watched anything we'll new. Lawrence Fishburne. And, yeah, yes. Which is, they put out a teaser for it a couple weeks ago. It's coming out in 2023. Yeah, they pushed it back. It was supposed to come out this year, I think. That's, you uh, know what? Fucking, fine. especially especially after Cyberpunk, take as long as you want. Video games, yeah, movies, man. books, maybe not books, but fucking take as much. Because you, well, I say that because you don't want to end up with like a fucking Tolkien situation. Not Tolkien, um, Martin situation. George R. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, Cole. I'm <laughs> sorry, Cole. I, I saw your face. I'm sorry. When he said Tolkien, he oh, made like a no. face. <laughs> my bad. My bad. I was like, wait, Tolkien didn't do anything. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Tolkien, Tolkien didn't do anything. I'm talking George R. where he's like, it'll be done when it's done. It's like, it's been fucking seven years, dude. Yeah, like, man. There's only it's not longer, <clears> so many it? like, like, like siblings you can make fuck. Like, figure it out. Like, write the, fin- <laughs> write the final book. <laughs> I don't know what to and tell more you. More scenes of people having stinky, shitty diarrhea into fucking yeah. And shit like I don't that. know. George R. R. Martin is weird to me. I tried reading like the Game of Thrones books, and I was like, "Oh, this is just shitty Tolkien." Cool. <laughs> I read the first. I, I have only ever read the first book, but I tried to read it one time, and I just couldn't get through it. And then I tried to read it again after I watched the first season. And having watched the show made it easier because I was able to visualize and actually put that into the book. Yeah. But I was just like, I've I heard, don't want to read it. I have heard. Ones. I don't care. I have heard that the audio books are better. Mm. They're, uh, I, I almost not, feel like I. No. If, if he puts out the last one, I feel like I kind of have to read it just because the old, like, like the only conclusion that I have for Game of Thrones is the fucking last season. <laughs> And I, <laughs> I don't want that to be my last memory of Game of Thrones, so I might read the last book just to see because it can't. Like, okay, well, well okay. you also well, it couldn't possibly be worse, right? But like, you it also couldn't have be to remember saying there was we huge, got, there was huge divergence between the books and the series around what, season five, six, I think. Yeah, yeah, which is they, they started to like run out of like content. Well, you know, yeah, I know they fucking because he's taken forever. Yeah, I don't know. I just. <clears throat> I'm looking at the guy and I'm like, man, I don't know if you're gonna write a better ending than these schmucks. I know it's your IP, but I was I was gonna say the only re- the only reason that he would, and this is me giving him probably more credit than I should, is because he, like you said, it's his IP. He's written everything before it. You know, it's it's in his head on how it, right how it should go. Right. But here's the thing. He was writing he like all the stuff that he wrote back, you know, with like season one and two stuff, like like the first book. He wrote that in his prime. That True. man's like mid seventies, going towards his looking at his eighties. What do you think he's gonna write right now? Yeah, you that's almost. True. I, I have. I had a low stakes conspiracy theory about it is that like as the show began to go on, he intentionally delayed the last book because he wanted to see how they ended it to see if he could do it better. <laughs> you know, honestly, that actually, probably not a sense. bad idea. It makes sense. Yeah. I wish I really I wish love, like Andre Sapkowski would do more, especially now that he his series has a fucking like TV adaptation that they're not doing justice to. But what is this? Is that that's is The this? Witcher? Oh yeah. Oh, season two of The Witcher, dude. I need I've to. Watch, I've only watched three show. episodes. Oh god, it's so fucking good. I didn't think like I really loved the first season of The Witcher. It was so good. Season two is better, I, in my opinion. I, I I've I've heard that from the people who need, watch it. I still I need, need to watch it myself. I need to get through it. Like the fucking I also need like to start watching Book of Boba Fett. 
Yeah. Yeah, I haven't started watching that either. I need the, to. <clears throat> the nerd in me is stopping me from watching the rest of Witcher. Because I'm like, ah, there's a lot of this shit that did not happen. And you're doing this for literally no reason. Okay, but it's also, but like, if it was bad, sure. But it's not. It's so good. It's kind of bad to me, though. But it's not. But it's. Yeah, that's, if you that's, take it. I mean, if you, well, just take it like if you take it as just like a medium. thing. I mean, I guess subjectively, but I think if you just take it as what it is, it's a very good show. It's a very, very well good show. It's a very good fantasy show. But I'm like, man, this is my second favorite fantasy series of all time. I was pissed with like Lord of the Rings because I was like, where the fuck is Tom Bombadil? Oh well, they have everything else. <laughs> well, that's why I don't know if I've told you guys this, but uh, but actually when I was home. My dad came to me and was like, so have you uh, thought about going to Netflix about making a book into a series yet? I was like, kind of, but now that you're saying it, I guess I have to. <laughs> um, but uh, but I had him laughing because I was like, basically how it'll be is I'll come to them and, and I'll approach them and be like, here are all the stipulations of how I'm going to be involved in the production process of us turning my fucking baby into a series. Or y'all can add an extra three fucking zeros to the end of that check and then do whatever the fuck you do want. Do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> fuck you want. <laughs> it's like a Patreon tier is like at this tier, you get me involved all the way. At this tier, yeah. you do whatever yeah. the fuck you at want. At this tier, I'll sign the fucking dotted line, but you're going to pay me some money. <laughs> to, go, to go back to it, I fucking love low stakes conspiracy theories dude like conspiracy they're great that, like, they're so that, like, much in fun in the grand scheme of things <clears throat> that don't actually matter Ugh. i saw one that like um that i actually kind of think is fun that um that groups that are calling for like banning certain books in school these days are doing it specifically to make reading cool again <laughs> <laughs> because people are more likely to want to read the books that people are They're like, trying are being to banned. inspire a literature based counterculture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I kind of love. <laughs> Holy shit, there's an entire subreddit to this. Oh, yeah. I saw, oh, I love that subreddit. There's one on there I saw today that was like, uh, Machine Gun Kelly doesn't really actually want beef with Eminem. He just likes Eminem and wants him to make more songs. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't believe you what? didn't know about the shaving, subreddit. Shaving I, foam actually increases hair growth. This is because they want you to use their products more often. Mm -hmm. I that's that's a great one. Yo, I got this new uh, beard scrub. That's like a cool mint. Man, that shit feels good. <laughs> the COVID vaccines were secretly developed by fast fashion companies because since we're all working from home, people are wearing their old comfortable shirts instead of buying new ones. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, actually, speaking of that, um, the new guidance just came out for uh, for my work site. No more cloth masks. You have to wear N95s now. What? Where at your at your job? Yeah. Hmm. Which is fine because they they provide them at the fucking front lobby, so I don't have to worry about keeping a mask in my car anymore. Yay! Just go and grab one. Be done. So I just found the one that you were talking about. The Groups calling for banning books. Because the, you you mentioned the, the Dolly Parton yeah. Foundation. Fuck that person. No, that ain't it. <laughs> um, I can't think of any. I can't think of any low stake like funny ones that I have. I guess the I guess the biggest one that I have was just like the coin shortage thing, of like how we randomly got this fucking coin shortage, even though there's trillions of coins already in circulation. <laughs> <laughs> Reddit was created by the CIA to identify the brightest minds, but it failed and ended up support for ended up as a support group for sad virgins. <laughs> <laughs> that is the top post of low stakes I, conspiracy yeah, I, I theories. Think that's, I think that's the top one. That's why. And yeah. It, yeah. Oh, I just thought of one off the top of my head. What's up? <laughs> Burger King paid off. I see. To discontinue the orange, uh, the orange drink at fucking McDonald's. To, to well, it's back now, right? It, back? it is. It is back now. That's good. Elf I came up with this one about um, about uh, <laughs> this the soda industry having these this like um, this like deal with like big ice 
to <laughs> save money because Joe Coke met with Tom Ice to strike a deal. So, so if you've ever gone to a fast food restaurant, you go through a drive-thru, you order a drink, like they they fuck your shit up with ice, and they put like this much soda in it, yeah. right? And I've I've worked, uh, I haven't worked at a at a drive a fast food restaurant with a drive-thru, but I've worked at a a, a a gas station that served beverages and food and stuff, and those bagging boxes are not that expensive. Like those big giant things of ba- bibs are, they are not that expensive. And for the amount of juice that's going into them for each pour, not a lot, a lot of money is being spent. And so I think it's just soda companies trying to, trying to like avoid, like I, somehow they somehow they like make more money on each box. If you buy it you, later you in know, the you're, big ice. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, you're well, right like because when, we like we, we, fucking, we do the same thing in the alcohol industry. I was gonna say it's mm-hmm. like when you get you a jack. And, it's like when you yeah. get a jack and coke at a fucking at a bar. You get a shitload you're, of ice. You get <laughs> jack coke. You know. Well, yeah, well, it's, well, but, but here's the thing. But that's the thing. Here's the weird thing about it, right? Because you get jack coke because jack is more expensive than coke is. Well, but what's the excuse for people doing it where it's just coke? Well, like, that's what, I'm just if I, I just all I want is coke. You know well, <laughs> just, what I was what I was saying was like. I, like, I had a friend who thought that he gamed the system. I was like, go ahead, try it. And he's like, I want to, he's like, I want to get a, I forget, I think he's like getting like a mojito. He's, cause like mojitos like have a shit ton of ice in the glass, right? Mm-hmm. He's like, I want a mojito, no rocks. And he oh, like looks, at, the, and he looks at me like he's, good. he looks at me like he's smart. I'm like, so what, did he get okay. like that much of a fucking drink? Yes. <laughs> he like they, they they brought out like a tall glass and they were like muddle the fucking like go. mint lime juice two and a half ounces of rum a little bit of sparkling they're like there you go he's like where's the rest of it he's like that's it that is the rest that's of the it. rest of it ice. did I ever tell you guys about the best mojito I've ever had. Was that in Cuba? Not. Really quick, I just want to mention something before you say that while we're still on ice. As long as it's like the little pebble ice, I don't give a fuck. I love pebble ice. Pebble, pebble ice. pebble ice is the best. Is the best ice. Also, so before we move off of this, I have to say this one because Zach's going to get a kick out of it. Okay. <clears throat> Elf on the Shelf was created by the government to make the younger generations desensitized to being con- constantly watched. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new favorite one. That's my new favorite one. <laughs> I saw a TikTok where the the they realize that uh, they realize that Santa uh, he sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake. Wasn't enough. Break out the elf. <laughs> I saw a TikTok where it was this little girl had just woken up, and they, they the parents. Had I've got to like go to school. <laughs> Yeah, it's not funny. It's not funny. I've got school. I've got school. It's not funny. <laughs> Nah, it's not funny, I've got school. <laughs> nah, I'm not laughing, I've got school. Nah, has he drawn on my face? Yeah. <laughs> so no, it's funny as I've actually It's like the seen reincarnation of Ringo really? Starr okay. and a fucking 12 year old girl. <laughs> That's so good. It's not funny. It's not I've funny. Um, right, tell us about the best mojito you've so ever So the had. best mojito, it's actually, it's a double, it's a two for fun special. Because it was the best, Ooh. it was the best uh, cappuccino I've ever had. It was the best mojito I've ever had at the same place. Ooh. And it was at this resort that we ended up staying at for a day, uh, just north of Rota, Spain, on our way back from, uh, from our deployment to Djibouti. Where? And, uh, yes. <laughs> Djibouti. Djibouti. Oh, are we, are we just like leaving that joke in 2021? Okay, cool. <laughs> no, I just figured I'd, I'd head it off in the past yeah. for this time. Um, best. Sometimes you gotta leave bits in the past, Cole. It's okay. But back you, and John. Forth, back and forth. Easily, I mean, just easily the fucking. And we're talking like, you know, straw fucking, you know, outdoor cabana style bar slash coffee bar. I mean, the, I looked it up uh, based off of just its description, I was able to find it. They had like a $16,000 cappuccino machine in this fucking thing. It was all fucking, it was all dark red and fucking chrome. Like, you know, it yeah. looked like a 50s hot rod. It was and, like a fucking uh, Ferrari. Yeah, exactly. And then, uh, and dude, just the best fucking mojito that I've ever had. Like, everything was just so fucking fresh. 
expertly made, expertly modeled, you know, just... Mm. There, there are very small, like, simple pleasures in, like, a really, like, expertly made, like, simple cocktail like a mojito. Yeah. Like, that was, I think that was the first time I ever, like, drank, like, actually drank. Like, I mean, I've, I've, I've shared a drink with my dad before. The first time I actually drank with my dad, mm. it was because of a mojito. Because, like, when we were in <laughs> Paris together... Like I'll have a mojito, baby. Well, no, it's like we were sitting at a cafe, and my dad was like, I'm going to get you something that you're really going to enjoy. And I was like, all right, cool. And he got me a Cure Royale, which is just, like, uh, cassis and champagne. Really tasty. Loved it. I was like, okay, cool. My turn. <laughs> and I'm looking through their drink menu. I was like, oh, they have mojitos. Do you like rum? And he's like, I don't... It's been so long since I've had rum... Well, you like Sprite, oh, no. right? Oh, no. And he's like, yeah. I was like, do you like mint? He's like, yeah. I was like, okay, well, I'm in out of Sprite. Add a little bit of mint. Bada boom, bada bing, baby. It's 85 degrees in Paris. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> so we ordered two of those. That's one. We, <laughs> <laughs> we, order, we order two. We drink those. Dad drinks his faster than mine. It has like a full on like sugar cane in the glass as like garnish. It's like, that's fucking cool. I'm thinking he's done. And he's like, we'll take like an- another round. I was like, oh, fuck, Pop. I guess I'm getting drunk with my dad for the first time at 22. All right, let's go. <laughs> the first, that's, that's awesome. The first time I ever drank with my dad, it was Christmas Eve of 2000. And- Nine, because uh, it was the year that Modern Warfare Two came out. And I remember that because I got it for Christmas. Great right? year, great year. Hell yeah! Uh, and we got well. He got he got buzzed. I got pretty fucking. Drunk. How old were you in two thousand and nine? Was, Don't ask questions. I was sixteen. <laughs> I was sixteen. I was at my I was at my own house. Yeah. yeah. And uh, who among us has not gotten drunk underage with our parents? And uh, it was this beauty right here, Johnny Red. Oh, Johnny Red! Nice. <laughs> I can you ask that? Well, like, you just ask that question: Who hasn't gotten drunk with their parents underage? Like it's like normal, like a common thing. I don't well, think is it is. not a normal thing? Well, no. Well, like it, you know, it, you know, it was sort of like that, you know. You're not going to be stupid if I let you do this. But yeah, also I, yeah. Which you're, I get. I'm right I here. You're good. I think that I could be wrong about this, but I think that you'll find that it is more like it is more common for kids to not have gotten drunk with their parents than for it to have them have gotten drunk with their parents on this and podcast. I, I'm, I'm underage, and I'm not and I'm not cast making a, 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 a value judgment or anything like that. I fucking rad, whatever you know, rock on. But I don't think it's a common thing. I yeah, guess I guess like drunk would be like well, yeah we weren't maybe like not the fall right on, word we weren't like fall, like I, it was the first yeah, time I've, ever I've definitely bumped. I've definitely gotten tip I definitely got tipsy with at yeah, least but here's the, like I've like, had like a sip of like champagne on New Year's you know but like I'm, I'm not like, talking not, about that <laughs> that I know you're not talking about that that's what I'm saying <laughs> I don't think I don't think what you're talking about is a is a is a so, common life experience so, shared so, by children <laughs> so for uh, for my birthday in 2021 we went. And got hibachi because uh, my grandmother had never had hibachi before. I love hibachi. And That's so fun. I, I got fucking drunk when we were at the hibachi. Had a boy off of two mojitos actually, and I had Ooh. I had the funniest and I think the the coolest thing I've ever done drunk. Um, was we're sitting there eating. I got the fucking. I also so this will be another story. I got the fucking like a half rack of uh, of uh, lamb uh, from Ooh. hibachi, which is really good. Uh, yeah, and my grandmother was sitting next to me on my right side. My dad was to my left, and she had done the scallops. And so my dad was like, "Hey, Ma, can I get one of those scallops?" She was like, "Yeah, sure." So she takes it and she puts it on my plate, and my dad goes for it. And I, he described it, it was like watching one of those fucking tunnel spiders. Where as soon as it was on my plate, I went, "Bam!" Got it on my fork. It just ate. <laughs> 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 the other follow up story to that. So I got these fucking these things of lamb. Uh, or the hibachi, and I'm drunk, and it's meat, and so I'm just tearing into it like a fucking meat. You're happy, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, happy. Literally, I'm just holding it. I'm just ripping into it like a fucking savage. And it was the funniest thing because I got it medium rare, and this thing was like, 
and which is the way it should be. And uh, and so <laughs> the waitress comes over. She's like, "Hey, is everyone's meals okay?" And we're all like, "Yeah." And she looks at me. She goes, uh, "Is is the lamb okay? And it's not it's not too rare or anything." I'm like, "No, it's fine." As I'm again, I'm tearing into this thing like a fucking Neanderthal. And she's like, "Are you sure?" And I was like. Yeah, it's good. Like, I wanted to be like, do you see how I'm eating it? I don't think I'd be tearing into this bitch like this if it wasn't very good. <laughs> it's actually, I realize it's actually pretty appropriate we're talking about, like, alcohol experiences this episode. This is our 21st episode of the vidcast, actually. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, so so it actually reminds me, you know what, you know what, um, what simple, like, cocktail like drink that i started drinking I don't, I don't know if you call it a cocktail or not but that i started drinking that i wish i would have started drinking a long time ago what's that what fucking gin and tonics see i'm oh, dude I'm, I'm more of a vodka a tonic, tonic myself i'm a i'm a tequila soda guy i do i went i drank uh, i i drank gin like once when i was like 19 and i was just like eh, this sucks i hate it and you gotta find the never... right gin you gotta find the right well gin. that's the thing yeah um Hold on one second. You gotta sip that Good. gin and juice. Lean back. Put my mind on my money and my money on my mind. That's the call. Absolutely. There's no dead air on Sam versus Sam. We've been over this. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I hate you because no, I, I love you. I can't remember. I can't remember. I think. <laughs> Why are you crying? I thought you had an amazing time with Uncle Zach. Like, no, no reason. <laughs> um, I actually, I had, I finally, tr I tried one at, um, at, and I don't, I, I couldn't tell you why, like what, like prompted my mind to do this, but I was just like, I'm gonna try one. I was at Tyler Nunez's wedding back in December. And it was open bar. You just walk up, ask what you want, and they give you a thing. It was it was awesome. But I was like, oh, I'll take a gin and tonic, and then uh, then a gin and tonic, classy was ass drink, cured for me. And I drank it. I was like, this is fucking good. And so, Did you get a little bit of lime with it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they, they put it. Yeah. In, they asked me if I wanted lime. I was just like, when in Rome, am I right? And so I did. <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> yeah, gin and it was good. Yeah, gin and gin yeah, and tonic. Dude. See, I have like drinks. I have like different drinks that I'll get for different settings. So if I'm in like a professional sort of like work in the room networking setting, it's vodka tonics all day. But if it's more like a relaxed work function, like with like a Moscow mule or something like that, and then like Love if I'm mule. just getting trashed, my friends is fucking cheap beer and uh and uh like uh Jack and Coke's all day. Yeah, I will say whiskey Coke was like the go-to for like my crew. That's all we did was like Although whiskey Coke. Surprisingly, not Jack. Surprisingly good combination. Whiskey, just well. I don't even use them anymore. I don't even know why I have these on no. the first place. We're not even doing fucking uh, video games. Um, a surprisingly yeah. good combination is uh, Jack Tennessee honey and ginger ale. Yeah, that's that a great like one. It'd be good. Or Jameson. I. <laughs> oh, Jamo and Ginger is amazing. I can't, I can't drink Jameson. I so so actually that reminds me of a story of like my twenty first birthday. So when I turned twenty one, um, which is actually funny. So I actually that was the that was the first time like I actually shared a drink with my dad. It was my twenty first birthday. He took me out to dinner. Yeah, and we just we drank and we had a couple drinks. And I remember um, I remember the waitress. I took my ID out, and the waitress was like, "Oh, first time drinking." And my dad said. My dad like looked up at her and was like, listen, I may have been born at night, but I wasn't born last night. Get him the drink. <laughs> I was like, I was like oh. so <laughs> but I had um I was fed so many drinks on my 21st birthday, as as is customary. But I remember I had cocktails about there was a point in time for like a couple of years where I, I legitimately remembered everything that got fed to me at the bar and then i just after that i just forgot but um no but i remember they they got me um they kept on bringing me fucking jaeger and oh. uh uh jameson straight shots and i remember it was the it was one of the like five times i've ever gotten sick drinking 
Um, I will, nope. I, and I can't drink Jaeger or Jameson anymore because of that. Like I've tried, <laughs> I've tried like in my age now, and it just makes me like that sense memory. It just comes back. It's so no. I, I have my, I've one, my twenty first that I can't drink because of a similar situation like that. And what I've got in Cuba, and it's uh, it's eighteen hundred tequila. Oh no! Uh, oh. Specifically because I wasn't paying attention when I bought it, and it was that terrible fucking coconut flavored one. Oh, you're uh, fucked. I, and yeah. I was so <laughs> stupidly, I was doing a Twitch stream where I was playing XCOM and I was doing it where it was like take a sip every time someone's wounded, take a shot God. if someone's killed, finish my drink if I fail a mission. Were, and, and, and I'm scared about the answer that I'm going to get, but were you trying to die? <laughs> I came very fucking close. To <laughs> I got like through like two missions, like eight people died. I was in rough. Like I was like, I'm going to log off now. And I logged off and, uh, and she, cause she and I were dating at the time. She called me immediately and was like, I'm staying on the phone with you till you fall asleep. That was the night that I fell asleep in the tub, fully clothed. <laughs> Woke up three hours later shivering because the water had gone cold and my phone had died in my bed in my bedroom and she she was like freaking i felt terrible because she was freaking out because she couldn't get a hold of me the phone was dead. jesus God. but the other the other kind of funny kind of funny kind of sad um was it was the, yeah it was the summer of 2015 so it was right after my whole OTC thing and all that. And I, I was working at the warehouse at the time. And it was like a Friday night. So after I got off my shift, I decided, nah, fuck it, there's a bar on the way home. I'm going to go, go park my car at my parents' house. It's a mile to walk there. Uh, and I'll just fucking drink it all more. Yeah. So I'm ordering a shot of Jameson, Jack and Coke, shot of Jameson, Jack and Coke, Jameson and Ginger, shot of whatever. Blah, blah, blah. It's like the... Third or fourth round, and I'm like, let me get another one in this. <laughs> the bartender, I guess, in a moment of fucking just uh, candor, was like, "Why are you doing this?" To yourself? <laughs> are you industry? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? no. <laughs> oh my god! I think the only other time that I've really regretted life after drinking. Um, cause, cause that's my, and, and now that I'm 30, I have this feeling that like that power is going to fade away. But my, my superpower has been, I've never gotten a hangover oh. in my life. Um, I feel lucky. bad for you and, when it finally happens. Oh my God. That first one, if yeah. it ever happens, it's going to be a nightmare, but yes, I'm going to hang on to it You should just drink like half a gallon of water every time after you've done drinking for the rest of your well, life. Well, so that's the thing. And so I, t I did an experiment about it because I did it where I was like, I'm going to hate myself if this is wrong, but I'm going to, um, uh, I'm going to fucking go for it. Uh, uh, I, I've done it where I've done nothing but alcohol and just no Gatorade, no water, no nothing. Oh. I've done it with water. I've done Gatorade. I've tried every combination of things and recovery stuff. Never, never once. And so, um, and I've gotten blitz, you know, I've gotten, you know, I've had, a, I've drunk a lot in the past. And so we've been there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, I was hungover when I drove you from Teleco to Nashville. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would hold on, pause. Give me a second. I have to go piss. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? I've been waiting for a minute. I always make the joke about amateur hour, but come the fuck on. Oh shit! He can hear me. <laughs> yeah. So are we gonna say? Are we gonna have to listen to your fucking? Weird. Piss. Yeah, there you're, it is. Are we gonna have to listen there to your weak is. fucking stream? Your weak piss stream. Little pee pee piss piss, piss boy. Because Cole's got the fucking a prostate the size of a grapefruit. Mm hmm. Cole is Cole is the human embodiment of breaking the seal. <laughs> Cole's pee stream sounds like a fucking uh, fish tank at night. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I always make the joke whenever, uh, whenever I use like the Keurig at my parents' house. I'm like, this is what it sounds like when I pee in the morning. And my stepmother goes, it shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. Cole, Cole's piss stream sounds like a drip coffee maker from 1997. <laughs> <laughs>
I was hung over. I was hung over when I took you drip coffee uh, from Teleco to Nashville. Shut your mouth, coffee mate. Real men are talking. Yeah. Cute. Um, but anyway, Cute. so I say this all to say I love I, I, I love I love your Kmart fucking shir- Sherpa jacket, mm. Zach. And you know what? It's fucking comfy. So uh, I say all this to say that like there's one time I can't remember it was like 2017 I think it was like it was uh, the day before a holiday and uh, no it was it must have been 2018 it was the day before for like a holiday and my boss let me go at like noon but a couple of people that I knew were like off all day and um, they had gone drinking and they like wanted me to come out so at noon I go to this restaurant. Um, to meet up with these people <laughs> and they feed me like 10 shots of fucking, uh, I, I don't know what tequila was in, in the span of like 25 minutes, uh, to, oh, to sounds, catch me so, up. Sounds like the, sounds like the common denominator here is tequila for you two. Yeah. Tequi- I, I don't, tequi- I don't, not just tequila, but. An excessive amount of shots of tequila in a very an short time. An excessive amount of tequila is the thing. I I will I will I've I've given myself a no limit. No such thing. I'll drink I'll drink tequila shots and 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 this is more, not because I couldn't take it, but because of like what happened. And there's a whole story about what happened after that, but which I I regret, so I I won't get tequila drunk ever again. Um, I'll drink tequila drinks, but if if we're doing straight tequila shots, I, I'm like three and I'm done is the most. Okay, but well, like, like I said, like I was saying, like my go to is at like this point, like a tequila soda with wine. Yeah, which is fine. Like I could you, you've diluted okay. it and you've put the soda in there. So it's fine. That's fine. My go to is like, four bush racks within a 25 minute period. <laughs> and then I'm going to try to walk home in a city Bushwacker I'm not familiar with. <laughs> Fuck that bushwhacker! The 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 suicide. I did a suicide and then a bushwhacker. <laughs> the su- I, drank, I, which I was worried about you that night. In it. And you and you drank. Oh yeah, I definitely had it. I think you drank all of both, didn't you? Like I didn't even finish my first one. I was we were, yeah, we were also couple- drinking earlier that day. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I I was I can, I can handle my alcohol. I can drink. Zach, that. did you? Because Zach, did you have a beer at Sigler's like before? Like the little beer bar that we met you at? No, he didn't. He just by my apartment. He, no, Zach, Zach. Zach was committed to not that's, drinking until he was done. That's driving right. For the night, yes, so. I. Uh, I have a personal role. It's literally, not, it's literally. Because I did anything stupid or anything. It's because fifty yards up the road. I don't road. know if I've ever told you guys this. So my dad's nickname for me is Black Cloud. So I've got a <laughs> black cloud of fucking bad luck that follows me throughout my life. Mm-hmm. No, that, that tracks. Yeah, I know it does. Trust me, I've lived it for the last fucking almost thirty years now. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but that's a personal rule. Like I bring my two best friends to the family reunion. All of a sudden, the one cousin I fucking hate is talking to my best friend. Great, which I didn't know by the way. <laughs> I was like, it's like, where's Zach? Where's Zach at? We're having a great time. Oh, with Whoops. shit heel. Awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting there like, well, you know, guys being nice to make conversation. Call gives me the download. I'm like, fuck. You mean, you mean Dylan, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was. Have we ever talked about this on the show? Where, like, the joke was that, like, I inadvertently become, like, the grandmaster fucking of the family. They're like, the prophecy of the Jesus blue Eye Northerner has come true. He will lead us into the next Honestly, season. yeah. They were like, <laughs> we haven't talked about shit. it on the show, but we talked about it. <laughs> we <In> should. Friendship. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, because oh, of that. fuck. <laughs> yeah. The prophecy He's of getting the blue Eye with- Northerner. <laughs> oh, no. Are they... Is he singing Dixie right now? <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Away, away! <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the hand gestures and everything. Like, I still think about that insult battle you and Dylan had across the road, and you screaming, "You look like you drink Bud Heavy." <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I also, I only, I only picked this up in the last time I watched it. You could hear me going, "Shut the fuck up!" Because I was taking his shit inside. <laughs> What I what I love about that little back and forth is that like my other favorite cousin, oh, Sam, she was, like, like down a couple couple rows, yeah, came out and was like, "Hey, 
hey! I was like, hey! Hey! <laughs> well, then, then uh, on the last the last night when we were at the restaurant, we were feeding you things to text her across the restaurant. <laughs> oh, my. What I love about that is that I was like, I had you two and myself just being like, oh, these are fucking bangers. <laughs> I remember. And then I had, like, their dumbass fucking Florida selves being like, you look like you do meth. Well, you remember, you remember uh, the one that came through that was, like, really good, actually? Like I she, wish I still had the same she, phone because I guarantee I'd have them all saved. She sent you one that was like really fucking good. And I don't remember if I told you mm-hmm. at the time or not, but that was me. I, I walked over there and fed it to her. Which, I, well, no, because I think I remember you. You were like, no, that one was me. I was yeah. like, yeah, that track. Yeah, She's I not smart enough for that I one. I couldn't remember if I had told you that at the table or not. I, you know what I didn't really like that? Like, I, saw, I was like, oh, 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 God damn. Okay. What I really loved about that final night at the restaurant, too, was how whole family was kind of scattered out in like different little packs. So every few minutes, it'd be like that moment between Charlie and Mac at the restaurant where you'd be, you know, and you'd make eye contact with someone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but instead of them being like, <gasps> it'd be like, <gasps> yeah, just real friendly, like. <laughs> oh fuck, Ooh, boy! Um, in the one bar in Teleco. <laughs> yep. Where I don't know if we talked about we, this definitely wasn't in the 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 vlog, but the the biker gang outside. Oh yeah, the one where oh, I fucking yeah. made eye contact with him. Yeah, the the fucking neo Nazi from my hometown who's really a, a big part of it. I was like, oh shit, we shouldn't fuck with them. Yeah, and we're walking right past now them to get to the car with two black folk right there. Well, that's. <laughs> That's why I made sure to fucking basically do the last one and I did sort of like the scan to be like, oh, let me look around. And the fucking, the, the leader, the one you told us about, Cole, one you, you fucking knew, he like made direct action. So I was like, sir. <laughs> like, sir. I, you called him I sir. I recognize who is the superior person here. Please let us go. <laughs> it was such a, it was a weird, like very tense. Especially because I was wearing moment. the fucking You, gray you didn't. You you had the AK, but you didn't have it here. What? The Especially because I was wearing the bright pink Roosevelt too. <laughs> <laughs> you were. It was such a I weird, forgot. awkward, like very tense experience because, like, of course, the only two black people currently in Teleco, Tennessee, ran afoul of a yeah. neo-Nazi biker gang at the one. Well, bar let's just say that next year when we do that, I, I will know, have I my here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't know if they are a neo-Nazi by her gang, <laughs> but they're definitely. I know. <laughs> I know that a lot of them have a whole lot of neo-Nazi insignia. I don't know if it's all of. I mean, I'm okay with calling all of them neo-Nazis, but I don't That's know if they were like, I feel like Nazi if you gang. Act, listen, if you are somebody and you say I'm not a neo-Nazi. But you actively but associate with people who are. You might be. You're, you it's, it's, it's pretty heavy. You might be a neo Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> what I love is that that bar knows exactly what they're doing because they're like, hmm, how can we get the most fucking money? Dumb old dudes who are going through their midlife crisis, what do they buy? Harley Davidson's. Okay, cool, 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 cool. There's one of those like big store, like a Harley Davidson store in Teleco, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What if we put a bar across from it with like cabins right next to it so they could just stay there? All right. How much and uh, who do I make the checkout to? Well, just to, Zach, you so, were you were doing a very mischievous laugh there a little bit ago. I'd like to know what you're thinking. So I was thinking, you know, the uh, the whole joke of like. Zach singing Dixie. Oh, it's like we walk outside and those punch walk up there like, Brother Zach, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hell, DC chapter, you doing okay? <laughs> Just you making sure the five brother bros are staying down? <laughs> And Zach's like, uh, uh-huh, I don't know. I think at that point I'd have to play along to not get fucking killed. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you're right. <laughs> yeah, I well, did my 88 burpees this morning. You know how it is. <laughs> on that note. <laughs> don't end on that. <laughs> We've been going for a while. I'm ending it on that. 
It's my channel. Jesus, we have been. My it's all channel. a jest. It's all a jest. Yes, Zach is joking. Zach is not, nor has he ever been a neo-Nazi or a neo-Nazi sympathizer. <laughs> <laughs> Let that be known. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for joining us. It actually, I'm surprised because from the chaos of the first part of the video, we made it into semi-organization. I'm really impressed and proud of us. So, if that means anything to you, do really the good YouTube thing. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. YouTube will tell you when another video comes out. And here's something that I've started saying at the end of videos, Zach, that you guys don't know because you've not been on a video with me since I started doing it. Uh... If you want to help out the most, go watch another video. Watch an old one, watch a new one. Old memories, new favorites. Do that uh, because you love it. Let YouTube know what you want to watch. Even if you don't love it, watch. put on the all channels playlist while you're at work. Hit auto play, let it run through. Let it run. Yeah. Let it run. Your, his your, your fucking YouTube history is going to be real weird, but it's okay. <laughs> It's all right. But yeah, I guess the, the, the algorithm apparently is now um, all about watching as opposed to the, the, which you should still like, comment, subscribe, but like you need to watch the channel. Now. The algorithm. Yeah, the algorithm. watch us because we're algorithm. obviously extremely like, like entertaining. Yeah. Let people make content. And if you like our content, watch it. Wink. Um, <laughs> Thank you for joining us for another vidcast. And as always, I would like to remind you, have a great life. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.